Dennis Bird, former Jets player, is killed in car crash in Oklahoma. Dennis Bird, a former Jets defensive lineman who made an inspiring recovery from paralysis after a career-ending neck injury in 1992, died on Saturday in a two-vehicle crash near Claremore, Oklahoma, officials said. Bird was 50. A 17-year-old boy driving a sport utility vehicle north on Oklahoma Highway 88 veered into the oncoming lane about 11.15 a.m., striking an SUV driven by Bird, who was pronounced dead at the scene, the Oklahoma Highway Patrol said. The boy was taken to St. Francis Hospital in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where officials said he was in stable condition. A 12-year-old boy was also injured in the crash. Against the Chiefs on November 29, 1992, Bird and a teammate, Scott Mercero, collided while chasing Kansas City quarterback Dave Creek. Bird broke a bone in his spine and could not move his lower body. An eerie silence gripped the stadium as Jets doctors and trainers attended to Bird for seven minutes, according to a New York Times article about the game. Hopes were raised when Bird moved his left arm. A few of his teammates drifted over to talk to him and hold his hand, then slowly they began to realize just how seriously injured he was. Three days after Bird was injured, he underwent a seven-hour operation at Lenox Hill Hospital in Manhattan to stabilize his spine. Doctors thought it could take two years to determine whether he would be able to regain use of the lower half of his body, although they were already encouraged that Bird had been able to flex his ankles and move some toes. By the end of January 1993, Bird had made extensive progress in a therapy program at Mount Sinai Hospital in Manhattan. Weeks later, using crutches, he appeared for an emotional news conference to mark the end of his rehabilitation program at the hospital. The story of Bird's recovery was told in an autobiography, Rise and Walk, The Trial and Triumph of Dennis Bird, and a television movie in 1994. He played for the University of Tulsa before the Jets drafted him in the second round in 1989, and Eric Gregg, the university's vice president and director of athletics, said in a statement that Bird exemplified true determination, tremendous heart and humility throughout his life. He overcame great personal adversity after a life-altering injury on the football field, Gregg added. We know that Dennis touched numerous lives and will be missed by many. Bird became a motivational speaker and traveled across the country, sharing his life story, writing hundreds of letters a year and spending time with others who had neck and spinal cord injuries. The Jets presented him with an award as the team's most inspirational player of 1992, and they have given the Dennis Bird Award to the most inspirational Jet every year since. In 2010, Bird sent Rex Ryan, then the Jets head coach the number 90 jersey that had been ripped from his torso after he was injured. In 2012, Bird became the fifth player in the franchise's history to have his number retired. Bird lived in Tulilla, Oklahoma, about 40 miles northeast of Tulsa, with his wife, Angela, and their four children, according to the Jets' website. The website quoted Bird as having said, Football has always been, for me a corner post of strength and a way to accomplish things in life, whether it's on the field or just in maintaining a quality of life. All those lessons, dedication, perseverance, teamwork, they all dovetail nicely into living a blessed life. Music